Okay, I'm in Inkscape. I've just made the funniest t-shirt design of all time. I'm all excited. I go to export the PNG, and then when I look at the PNG, it looks like this. It's, it's cut off. So it's like, well, what happened? So in this video, I'm going to walk through some troubleshooting you can do if you end up getting some wonky files like this, and it's not complete. So the first thing I'm going to do over on the right-hand side is I'm going to click the export the, to the PNG file. Okay, so there's this little window that pops up. It's fifth from the top or sixth from the top there. And we can see I actually had it set to page. So when I exported this, it exported the page. You could also export the drawing, the selection, or the custom. So what you want to do is make sure if you have it selected to page that this is inside of the page. So where's my page? Well, I've actually got my page turned off. So I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties, and then my page page opens up. And I can see here at the bottom, I've got my checkerboard background. And then right here on the right, show page border. Oh, look at that. Now it makes sense why my design was cropped off. So you could make the pages different sizes. There's nothing wrong with that. So you could do that. But another way you could do it is just to abandon the page altogether. Go back to the export to the PNG file, and you could say selection. You could export the selection instead. So for example, I'll select the text, and then I'll hold down the shift key, and I'll select the crocodile. And now with my selection, I can see how big it is. And now I'm going to export just the selection. I'm going to click Export As, and I'll export the selection. And we can see now it's pretty much perfect because it's exporting exactly the selection. OK, so you might be thinking, well, that's great that you can use the selection tool. I can click one. I can hold down the Shift key. I can click the other one. But what if I have 13, 15, 85 different graphics sitting inside of Inkscape? Well, not a problem. Just hit Control a and that will just highlight everything you've got. So there's just a quick workaround. Then you can select the Selection button when you export, and then you can export. You can also, by holding down the Control key, you can actually create a different size, and it keeps the aspect ratio. So if you've got multiple things and you want to make them all smaller, just simply hold down the Control key, use the little corner button, and you can shrinky-dink it down, or you can make it bigger. It's totally up to you. Whoa, psychedelic crocodile. Okay, hope you found that helpful. Quick little tip there in Inkscape. I love Inkscape. Here's another video if you like using Inkscape that hopefully you'll find helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.